So those are our actual. So life. How long will it last if it were to actually run at 94 ksi forever? Okay, so that's easy to find out. We'll go back up here, and we know how to compute that, right? Well, SE is 141. So if it is less than 141, it is going to last forever. So the first one says this is forever. This will last forever because it's a 94 ksi. SE is 141 ksi, so that's going to last forever. So it will have no effect. So we don't care about the 10 ksi cycles because they are not going to do any damage because with that 10 ksi or whatever 68.9 MPA it's going to last forever. Now let's look at the next one. This one is 188. So remember just to make sure. SE is 141 MPA. Okay, so the life is given by uh, S F sorry S N over S F to the power one over B times ten Q. So in this first first case it's infinite so we don't care second one it's equal to uh, 188 divided by ah, let's close this we don't need this anymore 188 divided by let's see what is sf we computed that right 612 to the power 1 over b so b is here to the power 1 over that guy times 10 cube 254765 cycles okay don't care about that it's only 25 250000 cycles that's how if it were to run at 188 I mean 188 MPA which is 137.8 MPA nominal stress it is going to last for 250,000 cycles okay we want to do the same thing for the others so we're going to do the same thing so I'm going to move it up here but then I'm sorry I should have been more careful let me cut it and go up here all these numbers are wrong so So this is always D15 and this is this is C58 and this is D25 ah, I'm sorry 1.37 not 0.137 so at this if you run it at 235 ksi for I mean 235 MPA forever it will run 89,000 cycles the last one if you run it at this it will last 37,000 cycles okay now you can calculate damage so for the first one the damage is 0 there is no damage because of the first one for the second one it is 13 divided by that number it is equal to 13 cycles divided by that number this is equal to 4 cycles divided by this number this is equal to 1 cycle divided by that number so total sum of these four sorry so 
So, you suffer that much damage, so let me write down what it means. So, in 30 seconds, so remember the time taken is 30 seconds. So, now we say in 30 seconds. the damage is that much. So, how long will it take to damage for damage to be equal to 1? That is easy, that will turn out to be So, damage per 30 seconds equal to 0 0.00012245. So, damage per second equal to 0 0.00012245 divided by 30. So, which implies seconds for unit damage equal to 30 divided by this that is how long it will last let us see how much that is. So, this is life will be equal to 30 divided by this thing. <coughs> Look, it gives you all these microseconds and all of that. It is about 24,000 24, seconds, okay. So, which means that is equal to that divided by 3600. What is 3600? That is the number of seconds per hour, 68 hours. So, it is going to last for about 68 hours according to us. If you do calculations and you got slightly different answer, that's quite. But what it is is that it's about. It's going to last about two, two to three days. Think of it that way. It will last for about a couple of days, maybe three days more maximum. It's not going to last three days. Probably two days. Make sense to you? So let's go through this thing quickly. So what we did was, we did our material analysis like usual. We calculated SC and SF especially whenever I am looking at finite life, I am looking at SF and so if I know what stress I am running at and what is SF and I know the value of B, I can tell you how many cycles it will last. That is the basic thing that we are going to use. So, what we do is we go up here and the idea is to compute the damage in the time. So, what I do is I have my time history and I start counting you know this will only work if each thing is a full cycle if it turns out to be random you cannot do it all that well this really works only if there is an occasional overload not some random loading ok. So, in this particular case we found out that in 30 seconds 10 cycles or I mean 13 cycles are run at 10 ksi, 4 cycles at 20 ksi, 2 cycles at 25, 1 cycle at 30 ok. So, we converted the KSI to MPA by multiplying it by 6.89. So, those are these numbers. We modified them by using the fatigue stress concentration factor. So, it became so roughly speaking 94 KSI, 188 KSI, I mean 94 MPA, 188 MPA, 235 MPA, and so on. Then we used our number of cycles result and we said, okay, if it were to run at 94 MPA forever, it would last forever. So, if any any running at 94 MPA will not cause any damage. So, the damage because of the 94 MPA deal is 0. Okay. How about the 188 MPA? It will last for 25,477 blah blah blah. We ran 4 cycles at this. So, in 30 seconds our damage is 5, 5 times 10 to the minus 5. If you look at 235 mega Pascals, it would it would last for 89,000 cycles and we and we did 2 cycles. So, 2 out of 89,000 is 4.5 10 to the minus 5 damage. At 283 mega Pascals, it would have lasted for 37,720 cycles. We ran only 1 cycle in 30 seconds. So, the damage is 1 over this which is 2.65. 
So if I add all of them, the total damage in 30 seconds is 0 0.0001, 22, whatever. So in 30 seconds, you're going to accumulate this much damage. How long will it take for the damage to become 1? And that's easy. It is 30 over this number. It will last for 24,000 se seconds, which turns out to be about 68 hours. Got that? Very good. Thank you very much.